So back in Adalo, the way to do this is to create a brand new application. And so I'm going to create a new app. I'm going to go a native mobile app. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to click uh, blank. I'm going to click next. And then I'm just going to call this. Yeah, look, it's already pre-populated. Xano Heart Adalo. So that's what I'm going to call my app. But before I create it, I'm going to go to the advanced options. And I'm going to select this third one. Use external users uh, database and authentication. So this is the beta that you signed up for. So I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to click create. And then it's going to take me to this wizard and we're going to go ahead and do this together. So I'm going to click next. And the first thing that it's going to ask me to do is to set up my login endpoints. So remember, we already have that here within Xano. So let me go to the API and let me go to my login. And uh, I'm going to just copy and uh, copy this endpoint URL for login and I'm going to paste it in here. The second thing that it's going to ask me to do is to fill out the method. And the method here is post. I'm posting uh, the login and password to log in my user. Uh, it's almost always post. And then um, I need to specify inputs. And those are the input fields coming in from this endpoint. So that's email and password, both lowercase. So I'm going to go ahead and add those two inputs here. So I'm going to go uh, email. And uh, Adalo actually asks that you test this with a real user. So uh, remember, I had prakash at email.com. And then finally, I'm going to do the password text. And I'm going to do <clears throat> password, lowercase. Oops, password. And then I'm going to do password123. OK, so now that I've done those two things, it then asks me for the headers. And basically, this is the body uh, of what you're going to send your third-party service, in this case, Xano. So Xano doesn't use headers. It uses a JSON body. So here, what we're going to do is we go back to Xano, and we click Run and Debug. And I can just copy this uh, in its entirety and then paste it here in Adalo. And then here in the email, in between the quotes, I'm going to use this magical text. And I'm going to say email. That's from that input. And then finally, I'm going to do the password and password. OK, so if I did everything right, I click Next, it should tell me that it's successful, which it is. So then um, I can click Show Full Response, and I can see this is what Xano is passing back. Adalo is asking, OK, well, you need to tell us which is the authentication token and which is your user ID. Um, so here, I'm going to uh, specify auth token. That's right over here. That's the authentication token. And then the user ID, that's over here. OK, so we're going to click Next. Same thing with sign up. Let's do the same thing. Let's go back to Xano. We're in login. I'm going to go to sign up over here. And I'm going to copy this endpoint URL. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to select this as post. It's also a post method. And then on the inputs, uh, sign up takes name, email, and password. right? And I know that because it says that here. Name, email, password, all lowercase. And so in this case, Adala wants you to use uh, a brand new user that doesn't exist in your database. So I'm going to do name, and I'll, do na uh, I'll just do Michael. He's our customer success lead. Uh, then I'll do um, email, email, and I'll do michael at email.com. And then finally, I'll do password. And that is just like this, password. And I'll do password123. Not very secure, but this is just an example. Um, finally, that uh, the JSON body here, again, we do the same thing. Well, we can click Run and Debug and just copy this in its entirety. Come back to Adalo paste that in here, and we do the same thing. In between the quotes, we just match it up. Name, email, and then finally, here we go, password. OK, so now we have everything. And I'm going to click Next. If it all works, test successful. Again, I select the auth token and the user ID. And if I show the full response, remember, I'm getting that from the auth token here and that user ID. OK? Everything makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to click Next. And we are all done for right now. This is kind of where it ends that wizard. So I'm going to click the Save and Finish later. So with Adalo, uh, when you're using this external beta, you can't use like the uh, general setup components with everything already pre-populated for you. you got to kind of do it from scratch, which is very easy. Um, so I'm going to click on Add Screen. And I'm going to add a blank screen. And I'm going to call this Login. Okay, That's my Login screen. And so uh, then I'm going to add two input fields. So I'm going to type in input, and I'm going to drag this on here. And that's going to be, um, I'll enter a placeholder. This is going to be my email. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this name so I can differentiate it. I'm going to call that the email. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this, and then do the same thing for password, right? 
So I'm gonna <coughs> put pass her word in the placeholder. Um, I'm going to change that type to password and I'm gonna call this password over here. Okay, so I've d done two input fields and um, an email which is text, password which is password. And then the last thing I wanna do is add a button. So I see the button here, I'm just gonna drag it over. I'm gonna change this button to login. Um, and then what I wanna do is I wanna add an action. So I'm gonna add the action here and the external users beta is under more and I can go to user login over here and I'm gonna do external user login. So that's what I wanna do with the email and password. And so it's asking for the email address. I'm gonna use this magical text and I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna map it to the form input email. Here with a password, I'm gonna map this to the form input password, okay? And so I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna add one more action and that's after you're logged in, take me to a new screen and I'm just gonna call this the home screen. And I'm gonna select this uh, style and I'll click create. Okay, so now that I have the login and the home screen, I want to basically create a new collection or a new API endpoint that's going to get all of the stuff belonging to the user that logged in. Now, so far in Adala, we've set up login, we've set up sign up, but we haven't told it anything about that stuff database table or API endpoint. So I wanna go ahead and do that right now. But I actually forgot to do something in Xano with that stuff endpoint. So let's go back here and let's go to that stuff of user. Remember I created this in that last video. So if I go to stuff of user, you'll notice that it's unlocked, right? I need to lock it down to make sure that only the authenticated users can access it. So I'm going to go ahead and press this little lock icon and in the edit query dialog, I can just change this to user authentication and I can click save. That means that anytime I use this endpoint, the user has to be authenticated. So I'm gonna copy this endpoint URL, go back here, and then I wanna remember, I wanna add this collection of stuff. So I'm gonna click on their database icon, and then I'm gonna add uh, connect to API, I'm gonna add an external collection. So I'm gonna add this, and the collection name, I'm just gonna call this stuff, and for the base URL, I'm gonna copy in this endpoint. Remember, I just got this just right from here. The next thing that I need to do is I need to specify that we need to authenticate before we log in and see the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add an item and I'm going to add a header. Uh, these API headers just basically tell the request or they send the request the authentication token that's required in order to see the, uh, the data. So um, I'm going to call this authorization and then in the value I'm gonna type bearer, because you're getting a bearer token. It's like an industry standard thing to uh, authenticate users. And then I'm gonna put a space, and then I'm going to hit this magical T, and I'm going to select that external users auth token, which we defined when we were setting all this up in Adalo. It's gonna need a test value to make sure that it's all working. So the easiest thing to do is go to Xano and use your login endpoint to get an auth token from one of your users that exists. So I'm gonna go to run and debug, and I'm going to log in with me, prakash at email.com, and then I'm gonna do password one, two, three, and then I should get an authentication token back. So I'm gonna just copy this in its entirety. Oh, forgot one, there we go. And then I'm gonna bring it back here, and then I'm gonna click done. So if I've done this right, which I hope that I have, it's gonna say, okay, yeah, it's gonna verify how uh, each endpoint and how it's gonna get the data. I'm gonna click next, run test. Uh, yeah, and look, look, it looks like it added everything correctly. See, I see that my response. So I'm gonna create the collection. So now I have my collection of stuff, great. Now when I, the user logs in, I want to press this plus button and I'm gonna do a simple list, okay? So I'm gonna drag this list over here and then pretty straightforward, what is this a list of? Remember, we just added that stuff. So I'm gonna hit stuff. However, we're going to add a filter to that because I only wanna see the stuff of the user that just logged in. So I'm gonna click add filter and I'm gonna do the query parameter. And the name of the query parameter is user underscore ID. How do I know that? I go back to Xano and I go to that, remember that stuff of user, there, there it is, user ID. So that's the same thing that I specified here. And here uh, I could hard code a value, but I wanna use this magical T and I'm gonna do this log, logged in user and I'm gonna specify that external user ID that I'm getting after I log in. Okay, so now that I'm gonna click done. So now I'm all ready to go. Let's test this out. Let's see if I've done it right. So I'm gonna hit preview. Okay, so on the email, I'm going to do prakash at email.com and I'm gonna do password one, two, three. 
So if I've done this right, I should be taken to home and I should be able to see two items, but it only says title and subtitle. Ah, that's right. See, I'm messing up in real time. No problem at all. Here in the title, what I forgot to do is I specify that this was a list, but on the title, I want to change this title to, using this magical text, the name that I'm getting from stuff. Remember, here I said it's a list of stuff, but I forgot to change the title and the subtitle. So I, uh, I'm going to say that's stuff name, and then uh, the subtitle right over here, do I have anything that I want to put? Uh, sure, I'll just put the created date. That's not a, not a big deal. Um, so I'll do that. Now this should work properly. So when I click preview, um, let's see. I'm going to refresh it because I think I messed up. Okay, I'm going to click back. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Computer and mouse 42 minutes ago. Okay, fantastic. So everything that I'm doing works right. I was able to log in, no problem, and see the stuff that was associated with my user account. A little bit of a mix up in there towards the end, but I, I'm sure you get the idea. So definitely let me know if you have any questions. You can see now, you know, it's still in beta. They're still working out the kinks, um, but you can see how you can very... Uh, simply take the authentication from Xano and bring it into Adalo. Absolutely let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.